Welcome, welcome, welcome to this new video. In this um, video, I'm going to continue going over the uh, OpenVAS Greenbone Security Administration. And this time, we're going to be talking about Sec Info or Security Info tab that you see here. Now, as you can see, the uh, feeds that OpenVAS gets to identify vulnerabilities come from the MVT, CVEs, and CPEs. And it also offered two advisories, the search and the FN search advisory. So let's go over them quickly. So if you click on MVT, so once that comes up, you're going to see that the MVTs are going to be displaced. But what are the MVTs? MVT stands for Network Vulnerability Test. And the way it works, like new vulnerabilities are published every single day, right? And uh, Greenbone gets those vulnerabilities from different sources and they implement them in their unique network or in their unique feed systems. And then they distribute them or those vulnerabilities get updated on all the scanners because they require a special subscription key because in this case it comes from Greenbond specifically they are known as uh, MVTs right so that's what you have to keep in mind so an MVT is a game they're just simply vulnerabilities that come from different sources that are curated by Greenbond and they're distributed uh, to systems as you could see here uh, these are the MVTs and this is how they are being mapped to the uh, CVEs. So uh, let's go over now to the uh, CVEs. So the CVEs are the common vulnerabilities and exposure list of publicly disclosed vulnerabilities. As you could see here at the time of this video and based on the um, on the uh, FITS updates that I have for the CVEs, these are the uh, lists that of CVEs that are included in the uh, in the system, right? So you can click on them. I don't know if you have if you're going to have more, much information. You don't have much information here, but you could do a search of these uh, CVEs IDs, and you're going to see more information about them and what they are, right? So if you come here, that come from NIST, and that's going to give you more information about the vulnerability. I also uh, created uh, one or two videos about identifying vulnerabilities and going to the different web websites of vulnerability databases and other, other sources for you to identify vulnerabilities. Uh, and again, it becomes repetitive, right? So now we have the, uh, the CPEs. Uh, common platform enumeration, which is similar to the CVEs and CPEs. And this is just uh, vulnerabilities that are being fed into the system. So you could see here the uh, vulnerabilities that come from there and the, um, and the severity based on the CVEs. And lastly, uh, you're going to see two very useful information. You're going to see the third bound advisories. And what that is, is the Computer Emergency Response Team from the German Federal Office for Information Security. I googled that, so that's why I know that. <laughs> uh, I always I always saw it there. I understood what it does, but I didn't know what it's you know what what that stands for. So um, this information or fits about um, vulnerabilities uh, that has been detected by the uh, computer emergency response team from the German Federal Office of Information Security and they publish that. And again, let me just take a quick break right here. When it comes to uh, vulnerability management and vulnerability management solutions and vulnerability scanners, one of the things you would like to understand is where the feeds are coming from and how of, often the feeds are being distributed right so that's what <clears throat> you see here now these are not fits this is information and it's in german so it's not going to help me much but if you speak german there you go uh, but if you go to the um, 
DFN uh, certs, which is the uh, let's see what is DFN an advisor with described special critical security of going fast blah, blah blah blah. I don't know what DFN is. So it's an advisory, right? So it's the same thing that you see here that they're giving you um, information about the cybersecurity uh, state, you know, state of what happened in new vulnerabilities, new attack vectors. And that's what you're going to see here. But going back to my point, uh, when you are evaluating vulnerability scanning solutions, you want to understand where the, sit, where the fits come from and how often they are updated, right? To be honest with you, most of the vulnerability management solutions, they're going to use these, the MVT, CVs, and CPEs, or a form of that besides their own unique curated fits, right? But you're going to get those when you use the commercial versions of the software. As if you remember, like we're using the open source or community version of OpenBus and we're not going to have all the fits. So I just want to show you this screen right here about the Greenbone community fits and Greenbone enterprise fits so you can see the differences, right? So when it comes to uh, enterprise product, the Greenbone community fees, they're not going to be able to detect or, or identify anything for enterprise products such as Exchange, Palo Alto, Cisco, and many IoT devices. But if you use the commercial version, you're going to be able to identify those vulnerabilities. Also, uh, you're not going to be able to have different compliance policies for uh, the community but you're going to have that in the commercial version and audit policies is the same thing. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. Now, is OpenVAS a good solution? It is. Let's put it this way. Is OpenVAS, OpenVAS Community Edition a good solution? It is. With this information and just identifying uh, vulnerabilities based on these fits, you can do a lot. But again, this is not a commercial solution and it's going to be lacking a lot of the commercial functionalities that you would like to use. Again, so you have to weigh in your options right here. Uh, you could get feeds from different sources. For instance, if you go to uh, Nessus Vulnerability Scanner from Tenable. Well, not from here. So let me see where that is. Okay, actually, it's not from here. If we do a search for, for instance, Tenable Research Advisory, uh, you're going to see uh, something similar to what would be listed uh, here in these advisories. So, if, for instance, if you use um, Nessus uh, Community Edition, they're going to be able to show you some of the fits. Obviously, not all. They don't want to give everything now to the community for free, but they do give you enough so that you can use the vulnerability assessment software. And when you're ready to purchase a software, the first product you're going to think of is, is theirs, right? So that's the way it works. So, and you could get your uh, feeds and information from different sources, from Cisco Talos, from Rapid7, from all different locations. But um, that's something that you would like to keep in mind when selecting a vulnerability management solution. But in this case, we're talking about uh, Greenbone OpenVAS Community Edition, and this is what we have. So with that, we have covered this. Just keep in mind the last thing that I want to mention to you. You want to make sure that these uh, feeds are updated. How do you know if they are updated or not? Well, it's pretty cool stuff. In this case, we see one for uh, today, actually, right? It just updated. So if we come here, we go to feed status. And somehow this says five days old for the MVTs. But uh, I am seeing this. Uh, where am I? I am seeing then I see one that is just from today, literally just a couple of hours ago. So um, make sure that your system, your feeds are up to date. Uh, and if 
there are many ways you could do that. You know, if you're running Docker editions, you're going to have to get the bash into the Docker and do the updates, or you could run the commands. And this is where um, open source, or, or let me put it this way, not open source, how community community editions become a challenge sometimes because you don't get the whole the whole thing, but you could get something. So I hope this video was useful to you. We didn't cover much. There's nothing for you to do here. This is basically just information about the fees, where they come from, what they do. But it's good to know on how to keep an eye on the feeds that are up to date. I hope this video was useful to you. Again, if you liked it, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you on the next video.